Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the most unique knockout reactions in MMA. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. Some of the knockouts we see aren't the normal reactions we see where the fighter stiffens up and falls over. Some of them stand out more than others. Well, that's pretty much what this video is about since some of these knockouts were rare to see, it also left quite an impression on those watching in attendance. For this video, we have compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters got hit with something so crazy that their bodies reacted in the craziest way. That their bodies reacted in weird ways. Number 12, Johnny Walker. You gotta keep Walker moving like this yeah. the whole fight. If you keep Walker moving like this, you gotta dodge the crazy punch. Oh! That's it. He'll cut Walker with a crushing right hand to the temple that beat Walker's jab to the mark. Walker did his best inflatable man impression, but Hill was so quick, he got to Walker before the referee. Hill landed another right to the chin before referee Jason Herzog dove in to stop it at 2 minutes and 55 of the first. Walker earlier fell awkwardly on the mat after being hit with a single right hand from Hill. In the process, Hill made a statement to the rest of the division coming off his win against Jimmy Crude. Number 11, Paul Daly. It kind of looks like Paul got knocked out by a ghost. Great body work by Diaz. Oh, a beautiful uppercut. Looping right hand. Daly falling. Is it Diaz rolled into this fight facing arguably his hardest opponent. Daly was no pushover, giving Diaz a run for his money in the first round. Daly had Diaz at one point, and the end of Diaz's reign as welterweight champion was on the line. Diaz quickly got back up and threw a barrage of punches at Daly, stunning the former top contender in the UFC's welterweight division. Then, while Diaz was backing away, a phantom punch sent Daly to the ground. I mean, who knows what happened to Daly when he fell, or why he fell. Number 10, Harry Mosley. This knockout made no sense, especially since it was a reporter that did the knockout. Shots a dude stiffly land on the chin of Sir Mosley. He weathers through it though. Oh! That's gonna do it! His opponent was the haughtily named Sir Mosley. The first round was a bit of a stalemate with most of the action taking place on the deck, but Mosley's plan for the second to bait Lazara into a striking exchange backfired big time. The knockout itself was so hard to watch since it also didn't make sense how it even happened. Number 9, Mahmoud Hassan. This kick had Mahmoud spasming out. And if there is a violent takedown in this one, the whole stadium could rock. Oh my word! A spinning kick that knocked Hassan straight down. The Egyptian tried to retaliate with punches, but every charge allowed the dominant man to zone in on a chance to end the bout. As he stepped it back, Hassan followed right into the perfect range to eat a lightning fast spinning heel kick. The strike sent Galani's opponent chicken dancing to the canvas. The Hong Kong Hulk swarmed for the finish of the ground and pound, forcing the referee to wave off the action in 31 seconds into the first round. Number 8, Akiyama. To find the mark with his kicking arsenal. Should break down that lead by some more. Should go back to that target just above the knee. Oh, here we go! It's good day no rain! Akiyama showed great head movement. He was able to evade most of Muhammad's power shots. Towards the end of the round, Akiyama punctuated his performance by landing a well-placed right hook as Muhammad was coming in. Cheng put a stop to the welterweight contest after 3 minutes and 4 seconds in the first round when the Japanese-Korean contender knocked out his Egyptian opponent in terrifying fashion. Number 7, Emily Ducote. Those outside leg kicks offered, yeah, but Ducote seems like she shut down that avenue. Ooh, hard right hand! Taylor in trouble! Head kick for the finish! It is done! The finishing sequence began with a hard overhand right from Dakota. Upon impact, Danielle Taylor, visibly stunned, froze while she remained on her feet. As she looked down, Taylor was met by a hellacious fully wound up head kick from Dakota that floored her to the canvas, and like that, Dakota captured the vacant Invicta strawweight title. Immediately after the win, the celebration began. Dakota bounced around the cage, audibly elated by her handiwork and title earning accomplishment. Number 6, Moses Marietta. Rarely have you seen a knockout out do something to a fighter like this. Job to deliver again and then finishes with the jab. Oh, what a combination! Over and out! Beautiful. Legacy Fighting Alliance with another knockout on the LFA 54 main card and the co-main event Moses Murrieta landed a solid two-punch combo that literally sat Sedaya Parker down. 
Moses was piecing up Sedaya on the feet, and a 1-2 combo had Parker turning into a collapsible chair. It was a pretty vicious finish. This was all with 28 seconds left of round 2. Number 5, Ryogo Takahashi. Ryogo Takahashi uses power and experience to halt the rapid rise of the big heart Yoon Chang Min in the featherweight mixed martial arts. <laughs> Yoon was on wobbly legs as he stood back up, and Ryogo knew this was his time to finish. He swarmed his foe with heavy punches and sealed the deal with a crunching right uppercut left hook combination to end the match at 2 minutes and 52 seconds of round 2. Number 4, Joaquin Buckley. They are so even on total strikes at the moment. Oh! Input Kasanganai blocked and caught a head kick which allowed Buckley to perform an incredible spinning back kick to the head for the finish. This had Impa frozen on his heels for quite a time, looking like a stiff breeze could blow him over. Receiving praise from UFC President Dana White, Buckley was unsurprisingly awarded one of the four 50,000 UFC Fight Island by performance of the night bonuses. Quickly being dubbed a knockout of the year contender, the finishing blow became viral with many pointing out how it straight up looked like a video game. Number 3 Abdul Munir What this knockout did to Abdul's opponent was more than just frightening. What started off as a weird Superman punch had Munir's opponent panic and have his back to the cage where he would eventually have a crazy right hook come and hit the chin. This caused Sandeep to instantly face plant, prompting the referee to stop the bout. But Sandeep would rise to his feet and protest an early stoppage. The face plant was a bit delayed though, which was a strange part, and had the fighter lose control in his legs causing him to wipe out. Number 2 Shane Burgos Shane Burgos had a scary moment back in May when he fought Edson Barbosa at UFC 262. wanted him to be more busy with the left. Oh, ooh, good right hand by Barboza. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Burgos was knocked out in an extremely rare instance where his body shut down but not his brain. Burgos was hit by a big punch from Edson Barbosa and appeared fine. A few seconds went by and he went running backwards into the fence. It did seem like Shane had an instance where he was too tough for his own good. His body stopped before his head did. A few follow-up shots from Barbosa brought the fight to a close, but it appeared Burgos' body simply gave out after the steady flow of damaging shots from Barbosa. Number 1 Ben Syed MMA fighter Ben Syed scored a wild, delayed knockout when he Sparta kicked his opponent in the face. Moments later, after taking a half step and shifting his weight onto his front foot, he launched his right leg and extended his heel at the critical time to whack his opponent flush on the face. Tyson Campos initially looked like he did not know what to do. In a delayed reaction, he eventually fell awkwardly in a heap by the fence. Syed then hurled a volley of fists at Tyson Campos' skull until the referee had seen enough. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, let us know how we did in the comments below. All right, MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.